Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. And today we are looking at another failed VTOL concept from history. Out of all of the machines and vehicles and mechanisms that have failed throughout history, it seems like VTOLs, vertical takeoff and landing planes, were just the most difficult thing to get right. There are so many different VTOL concepts that were just terrible ideas and didn't work out, some of which we've already looked at on the channel. But today, we're gonna be looking at one known as the Coleopter. This one was a pretty weird looking VTOL. It basically had one big round wing, Kind of gives like flying barrel vibes actually, but the flying barrel was not a VTOL at all. But much like other things we looked at the channel recently, it had some issues. Let's get into it. All right, so here's a picture of it. Unlike some of the other stuff I've looked at recently, this one actually was built and tested in real life. It didn't just get abandoned on the drawing board. So there's a couple of really interesting things about this. The first is obviously being the um, the wing here. It has what I've learned today is called an annular wing, which is a wing that is closed. It doesn't actually have wing tips on it. So this wing circles all the way around the entire body of this plane. And another cool thing about it was that the seat actually was able to rotate almost entirely into a vertical position when it was in hover mode. So that way the pilot had an easier time orienting himself when he was trying to take off and land vertically. You can see there's even a window over here to help uh, increase visibility. And actually, are these windows down here? Those might be windows down there too. I don't actually know though. But from what I was able to gather from my research, this thing never successfully transitioned from hover to horizontal flight, at least not intentionally. Because as it says right here, the Coleopter briefly and unexpectedly achieved horizontal flight on its ninth and last foray when the aircraft yawed during a powered descent that degenerated into wild oscillations, including a brief horizontal oscillation, preventing Morrill, the pilot, from ejecting until just 160 feet above the ground. The aircraft burned, Morrill was badly injured, and uh, that was the pretty much the fate of the Coleopter. So basically, much like my experience with all the other VTOLs that I've tried to recreate in Trailmakers, hovering vertically and maintaining a stable control while you're trying to take off and land, it's, it's really hard to keep control. So you're probably wondering, how exactly did this thing control itself? Well, apparently these four fins sticking out of the end of the wing were actually able to rotate to help with pitch and roll during the horizontal flight. But when it was hovering, they used thrust vectoring to control the pitch and yaw, but they had some problems with roll because there was really nothing to control roll. So it had a tendency to slowly roll while it was in the vertical hovering position, which made it difficult to control, which is probably why it ended up crashing and burning on that last flight. So I'm gonna take a different approach to this in Trailmakers. I'm actually gonna try to build this annular wing out of actual wing pieces, rather than just creating a tube out of normal blocks. So it's gonna be interesting to see how that might affect things. So let's get over to it. All right, I might be setting myself up for failure here with this idea, but let's see what happens. So I'm gonna basically have hinges attach in between all these wing pieces to create this curved effect and all right check it out i think i might have it oh <laughs> those bottom ones are not turning the right way hold on a second here all right there it is oh that actually looks pretty good that is not bad so yeah the entire thing is going to be wings like that Ooh, look at this this actually looks pretty cool i wonder how this is going to affect me in flight it's going to be really interesting all right, so I am attempting to put thrust vectoring in this. It's not like normal thrust vectoring where you're just deflecting the thrust. I actually have to move the thrusters themselves because I can't deflect the thrust in this game. That's not how that's not how the game works. So I'm gonna be simulating that by adding just controls to change the way that the thrusters are facing in hopes that I'm gonna be able to control myself in a hover. I almost forgot I also need to add the fins on the edge of the main uh, annular wing. All right, I think I've got, oh boy. Oh, it's white, no, don't do that. All right, well, looking good so far, right? All right, so now I gotta build the actual cockpit to this thing. All right, I'm gonna be honest, I tried my best to make this weird looking cockpit look like the original, and it's just such a weird shape to try to shape into Trailmakers. I tried to put like the vents here and stuff, but uh, this is what I'm left with, all right? I think everything visually is how I'm going to, okay, that's gonna be an issue if I can't stay up straight. Uh, I, I still have to put the controls and all that stuff, and those thrusters are looking, they're, they're not looking too strong as far as the hinges go. They're, they're flopping around a little bit, which might, might be cause for concern on the directional stability of this thing. But hey, 
Even if we fail, we're still historically accurate. So I'm not that concerned about it. All right, now I just got to program all the controls and we're going to have our first test flight. Hopefully this is enough for us to get this thing off the ground. Okay, I think I'm ready for my first test flight. I'm going to do it like historical style where I'm just going to do a really basic proof of concept test flight. Just see if I can hover off the ground a little bit and then land. And we'll use the feedback from that test to see what adjustments need to be made and work our way up to a real horizontal flight. All right, let's see what happens. Here we go. All right, the thrust isn't strong enough. Don't worry, this is an easy fix. I could just add more thrust into the side of this. This, does, this thrust doesn't even need to be controllable or anything like that. It's just gonna help us get off the ground. All right, hover test take two. We've got four more thrusters in here. Oh, we're getting off the ground. Okay, oh no, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is not gonna be easy at all. Um, all right, especially with the whole bounciness when I first spawn in, I gotta wait for that to settle down every single time. But you can see I do have the, uh, the thrust vectoring, like the thrust can do all that stuff, so I'm supposedly supposed to be able to control myself. But, uh, it's not, it's, it's really not working that much. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. See, what happened right there is pretty much how the last flight went. All right, I've given a lot more angle to the thrust vectoring, so hopefully that'll allow me to adjust myself more. Let's see if this works. All right, we're relatively straight now. All right, come on, no, pull back, pull back, pull back. You can see the thrust vector. I'm trying to pull back. This isn't good. This is not good at all. This is really, really, really bad. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do a horizontal test flight yet. That's kind of funny because that's kind of, uh, that's what happened in the last flight was it was an accidental horizontal test flight. They weren't supposed to go full horizontal. They were just supposed to angle it like 30 something degrees and then go back to vertical. And he just went into this oscillation and lost control and that's the last we've ever seen of the coleopter but i want to be better than that okay let's try this again okay okay no 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 don't fall over don't fall over don't fall over no okay we're flying we're just gonna we're just gonna fly we're just gonna fly is all i can't i can't tilt myself okay here we go here we all right this is okay this is not bad i'm keeping the thrust vectoring because i just need that extra help because this thing is all, uh, we don't have lifting body effects that much in, in trail makers. The front of the body there isn't really helping our aerodynamics. So that's just weight pulling us down. All of our lift is pretty much in the back. Actually, this thing doesn't really have that much lift, I don't think. At least in trail makers, because all of these wings being in a circle, the lift is kind of canceling each other out. They're just providing stability, I think. Um, but we're flying horizontal. I got to constantly pitch myself up in order to not nosedive which is okay. Let's go ahead and just fly underneath here. Now, I have no idea how I'm supposed to transition back into vertical uh, landing because every single time I let go of the thrust, my nose just wants to go horizontal. Like, I'm... See, I just... It just instantly does... We are a rocket. <laughs> we have one big giant tail fin, basically, that gives directional stability for the nose to go into gravity when we're falling. Do you have any idea how hard it's going to be to descend in altitude and keep the nose up with all of these wings at the back? No wonder why this thing never took off. Well, I mean, technically it did take off. It just failed at doing it well. All right, so I'm gonna have to, I, I think what I read was that it actually had some deployable uh, fins that came out of the nose to help for some, some things. I'm just at the point where I have to start improvising to get something out of this. So we're gonna start breaking away from the original design here just to have some hope of getting a successful flight. All right, here, let's go up. And back. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Okay, no, whoa. Yo, no, no. no. <laughs> There's the oscillations. That's what happened in history. We're doing it. All right, you know, I, I've added the wings to the nose. They should add a little bit of resistance to the nose falling out of line a little bit, at least in one direction. But let's just see if we can get a successful hover and then descent back. Oh, no, there was a bad oscillation. Oh, that was really bad. All right, I can do this. I can do this. I just want to go up and then come back down. The problem is the coming back down. The nose wants to go horizontal. All right, I can't even stay upright when it's just spawning in. 
Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, there we go. All right, let's just go. Let's just take off. All right, there we are. All right, we're having the roll effects, the unwanted roll. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, that was extreme. Oh, no, oscillations are happening. Uh, whoa, look at the oscillations. That's so crazy. And no, no, I'm trying so hard right now. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I understand the problems you were having, man. I'm sorry you got hurt on that last flight. Man, I can't believe they had nine other hover flights. I mean, obviously real life wasn't exactly like this, but still, I, I do feel a little bit, just a little bit of the challenge that they may have been encountering. And the other issue is like, the, these wheels are just bouncing. This might hurt me more than it helps me, but I'm gonna add more suspension. There we go. All right, this is actually seems like it might be better for landing. All right, here we go, take off. See, the problem is as soon as I, as soon as I release the thrust and start falling, all of the wings catch the air and try to tip me over. So that's a big problem. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there's no ground there. There's no ground there. I can't land where there's no ground. How do you land without land? All right, I just want to get this. I just want to get this first goal. Go up in the air. Uh oh, maintain control. Oh, no, it's not happening. My, my ultimate goal, in case it wasn't obvious, is to actually take off vertically, transition to horizontal flight, fly around, then transition back to vertical and land successfully. But so far, I can't just go up and down right now vertically. So if I can't just take off vertically and land vertically, there's no way I'm going to be able to add a horizontal flight in between and then successfully end it. So I need to figure out what I can possibly do here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, come on. There's a chance, there's a chance, there's a, oh, I did it. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's possible. It is, it is now, I think it's possible. So now let's try to do the full flight. I'm gonna try to fly up to the helipad and land on the helipad as my target. All right, here we go. The takeoff to horizontal flight, I think might not be that bad. All right, there we go. We're taking off, We're going to horizontal flight. I am seeing one like issue with my controls is that my roll when I'm in the air um, that is also happening when I'm trying to land, which is affecting my ability to control myself a little bit. But it shouldn't really affect my yaw when I'm landing, which is done by the thrust vectoring pretty much. I think maybe, I guess I should have it on like a mode because they are kind of conflicting with each other a little bit. But you know what? With those nose fins, um, this flies way better. Way, way better. Like. This is horizontal flight without any other input. I actually kind of, I want to tilt up a little bit with those nose fins. Interesting. All right, so what do you think? You think I'm gonna be able to land on the helipad here? Let's find out. It actually flies pretty well horizontally now. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, here goes nothing. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oscillation's already starting. This is fine. I can do this. I've did, done it. One, okay, I'm just gonna just gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a breather. Head back down here. Okay, you know what? I need to add separate modes. I need to add a a landing and takeoff mode and a, a horizontal flight mode. I cannot have those controls conflicting with each other. All right, I think I got it. So right now, when I press A and D, you can see I will actually get a yaw effect from the thrust. And then when I press number one you will see that I will get the roll effect from the fins and then the thrust will no longer do the yaw effect. So that is essentially my transition button from hor from vertical to horizontal flight. So hopefully that'll help me uh, have less interference with my control. So let, let, let's see if I can do this now. We're gonna fly up to the helipad, I hope. All right, and now I'm gonna transition to horizontal flight mode. There we go. 
So now I should have less interference with my uh, thrust vectoring. I still have the vertical thrust vectoring for pitch because that doesn't conflict with my normal controls. And my roll is actually easier to do anyway uh, than pitching, so I don't need the help from the thrust vectoring. But all right, look at this thing. This thing flies pretty nice. Now uh, the question is gonna be, can I successfully land it on the helipad? Let's go ahead and turn over to the helipad. Yeah, I'm happy with how this thing flies horizontally. It is definitely going to be the vertical landing that is going to be the uh, the shaky spot. All right, here we go. Uh, when do I press the button to transition? I guess as soon as I get more vertical. Here we go. All right, I just pressed the button. I now have thrust full, full thrust vectoring. Oh, no oscillations. Oscillations. I need more thrust. I'm not really on the helipad. <laughs> Dang it. That was like almost, I was near the helipad, but I wasn't actually on it. All right, almost, almost. All right, let's try it again. There we go. I'm just gonna do a little bit more of a direct flight this time. All right, let's, we need to transition. I'm already kind of losing it there. All right, let's just head on up. All right, here it goes. Gotta get this transition well. All right, there we go. All right, maintain control. I am in, I'm in hover mode right now. Oh, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Oh, I'm so close. That actually didn't look too bad. I mean, there was definitely some oscillations going on, but I was able to correct it without flying all over the place. So that, I'm gonna call that a success. We've actually done it. <laughs> We've taken a failed Coleopter VTOL from the 1950s and we've managed to successfully take off vertically, transition to horizontal flight and land. And once again, I'm gonna try to do the reverse. This is usually where I ruin it. <laughs> but that carrier is a lot bigger of a landing zone than the helipad was. So let's see if I can get the reverse trip happening here. I mean, cause what good's a plane if you can't come home, you know? All right, here we go. Oh, that was too much. Oh, the oscillations are real, but it's happening. No, no, no. <laughs> and once again, I ruined it. But it was close, close enough. So there you have it, an annular wing vertical takeoff and landing recreation from the 1950s turned from failure to still, it's pretty much a failure. Nobody in their right mind would want to fly this thing. It's a terrible experience. It's really dangerous. You're probably going to get hurt. But we made it farther than the original, so I can be happy about that at least. If you guys enjoyed this recreation, you'll probably enjoy some of the other recreations I've done, especially with the other VTOLs that you can find in a playlist right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.